This is a brand new type of video game controller. Let us show you how and why we made it. Hi, my name's David. And I'm Max. Let's take a closer look. Most video game controllers include a combination of joysticks and buttons that require complex, coordinated movements and practice to get used to. Playing video games can help develop the areas of the brain that control fine movements, hand-eye coordination and biomanual control, otherwise known as using both hands. Certain common brain conditions like cerebral palsy can make these kinds of movements really difficult. So we wanted to create games and a way to play them to be a lot easier. People with cerebral palsy tend to rely on broad movements and tend to favour one side of their body over the other. So not only do kids who have cerebral palsy miss out on the fun of playing games, more importantly, they miss out on using their hands and fingers and developing their brains. So our challenge was to create games and a controller that only needed broad movement to encourage biomanual control. But of course the games had to be fun to play as well. After lots of experimentation, we developed games based on steering, like navigating through the stars, racing on the roads, or treasure hunting under the sea. So once we had our games, how did we make a controller to match? Well that part was my job. Our controller is a joystick with a difference. It is mounted in the middle of a dome on which the player places both their hands on either side. Then to move their character in the game, they push and rotate the whole dome with both hands at the same time. When something special happens in the game, like you collect a reward or bump into something, the controller vibrates. This is called haptic feedback. It helps make the game feel real and can be a very important brain training tool. People with cerebral palsy have trouble sensing pressure, surface texture and movements, so we hope that feeling vibration in the game will help them to recognise similar feelings in real life situations. As the player uses the system, in the background the software is collecting lots of data on how they're using it, so we can check on their progress later on. This gives us accurate information about how long they play, which games were played and exactly where the controller was moved throughout the game. It also tells us how many vibrations were sent through the controller and when. This information will help us keep improving the games and the controller. We're already working on new features for future controllers, such as simple buttons and even infrared sensors to ensure players use both hands. But for now, this version seems to be working really well and we're doing lots of experiments to make sure it's working perfectly. <laughs>